the impasse that uh, uh, we are now witnessing uh, within the Senate on this revenue sharing uh, uh, formula is not uh, healthy for the country. It is delaying disbursement of resources uh, to the counties and these counties have obligations and uh, these obligations relate to service uh, to the people in those counties. So it is absolutely important uh, that this delay uh, is done away with. Revenue sharing is not a simple matter. And this is why we created the uh, agency, the organization, uh, that works out the formula and makes recommendations. This is the county uh, revenue allocation uh, authority. Uh, that should be the one to guide the technicalities around going through this process and finding a formula. So if indeed this impasse is where it is, my view uh, would be that uh, there should be no further delay. There's an existing formula uh, which they can use to disburse the resources and then they can allow the Senate Finance Committee together with the CRA uh, to have a little more time in conjunction with the Council of Governors where they can discuss this further because it's important we have this through consensus rather than rubbing it down through people's throats uh, because we want to create cohesion in, 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 the, in the country. So that would be my take, that uh, let us disburse resources using the existing formula and then allow ample time uh, for the stakeholders to have some further dialogue and then the new formula can come into effect in the next financial year. So what we are looking for is fairness. At any one time we should be looking for fairness. And indeed the constitution makes provisions on the parameters that should be taken into account uh, when allocating uh, resources. There's the issue of population, there's the issue of uh, uh, geographical uh, spread. Then there are other parameters that come in which also take into account what would be affirmative action uh, for those counties that may have suffered. And hence that is why uh, there was also the creation of the equalization uh, fund to be able to mitigate uh, certain areas where, for historical reasons, they were not able to get the kind of support they required. So there is already that equalization fund. Um, so a clear balance is, is, is needed. We need to constantly, uh, at well predetermined uh, intervals, take stock of how those resources are being allocated. Uh, because things change. Um, what may appear to be an area that has a large population and so forth, over time, could turn out to become the marginalized area from a completely different uh, perspective. So this requires review, and a review is not bad, but it should not be acrimonious in, uh, in, in, in my view. Um, so population, is important. What we need to be arguing about is that have we been putting the right weight on population? I come from a densely populated area. Vihiga County, for instance, is a county that uh, has a very high population density. You have about 1,000 people per square kilometer, if not more. The, and that is exactly what you'll find in Kiambu and, uh, and, and uh, in Kisi and in, in Meru and in so many other uh, uh, places. So there are these genuine uh, concerns um, that uh, we, we, we cannot uh, say we want to have a formula uh, that punishes uh, people because they are more. Okay, okay. Uh, while at the same time, we also don't want to have a formula that says that uh, because you have such a large land mass, you should also be punished or something like that. It must be uh, a culmination of, of, of sensibility and sensitivities of these areas of concern and then work out something that can be acceptable. We have had a formula that has been moving and helping for some time. Uh, clearly, after five years or six years, it may require review, as I said, because circumstances change. Even the initial reaction I got uh, showed that uh, uh, this formula would also uh, injure a county like Vihiga. Because as much as we are very densely populated, we don't have a huge landmass. Right? So it also affects uh, 
the, 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 the allocation in that, in, in, in that area. So clearly there's need for further dialogue um, and uh, in order not to delay services. I can only appeal to the Senate uh, to look at it in the context of saying let this financial year go because you're delaying services uh, to the ordinary citizens across the board.